So first off, you want to wash your hair and condition it, then either blow dry it or let it air dry until it's about 80 to 90 percent dry. Then you need to French braid. This is actually really easy. You just need to take the top section of your hair, plait it twice, and then tighten, and add one inch sections to each side section. Don't forget to tighten so the plait doesn't come undone in your sleep. Once all the hair is added, braid normally. Spritz leave-in conditioner just to make your hair feel a bit more softer and help retain shine and to stop damage. In the morning, spritz with sea salt spray for a more tasseled and textured beach look. It also helps retain curls. You can do this the night before if you prefer. I just thought I would show you what shampoo, conditioner and all the products I've used in this video. So first of all, um, I change my shampoo and conditioner quite regularly. Usually after I finish a bottle, I'll change it to a different bottle and just go through different shampoos like that because I don't want my hair to get immune to what the shampoo is supposed to be doing because um, I can't remember where I heard that from but I definitely heard it from somewhere. So this is the shampoo that I'm using now. It's the L'Oreal LV Colour Protect Shampoo and this is really really good if you've got um, coloured hair obviously but um, I had red hair when I used this last and it just lasted for ages and it was always shiny and stuff. Now I've only got highlighted hair but I still use it um, every so often. So yeah, this is the shampoo I use at the moment and I really recommend it. The conditioner I'm using is the Swap Scarf Delice Colour Protect Shampoo as well. And this has got like little liquid crystals in it and it's supposed to help with shine. And this is a really good shampoo conditioner as well. And the leave-in conditioner that I used yesterday um, was the L'Oreal LV Colour Protect Shampoo. And it goes with... I keep saying shampoo is a conditioner. It goes with that shampoo. So that is the leave-in conditioner. I find that this it works best if you're doing hairstyles like this instead of using it instead of a like a wash conditioner. Because um if you just spray it in, I don't think that you actually get the like coverage that you do with a leave this is a leave-in one, this is a washing one, the washing conditioner because you don't like rub your hair and you and you don't leave it in as much. I don't think it's as thick as well. It's just th it's really thin, um, just little sprays. So you can leave bits out, whereas that you don't really leave anything out. So I find that it works best using them both instead of this instead. So if that makes any sense, sorry. And this is the um, Charles Wellington Rough and Tussled um, Sea Salt Sea Salt Spray. I can't speak today again. So. 
this is really good if you want to have beach waves and it works best probably on not frizzy hair but obviously I have frizzy hair and that's why I use it like this instead of just spraying it on my natural hair because it'll just make it even more frizzy. Um, it's supposed to work as well if you like blow dry your hair and you leave it like not completely dry, spray some of this on and then go back on it and like spray it on a curl or on a piece of hair if you do have curly hair and then use your hair dryer to make it into a curl but I don't hair dry my hair because I don't know it's just I try and use as less heat as possible because I'm trying to grow my hair so I hope you found this useful. Once it's dried and revel the plaques and gently run your fingers through them you can leave it like this if you wish. To add more boho feel to this look, you can always add a flower headband. Mine's a bit old, as you can tell. So all you have to do is grip it on either side with one grip and then do a cross at the back to make sure it doesn't move throughout the day. useful and that it works for you and um, if you do try it out then please let me know by leaving a comment below how you found it unfortunately it doesn't give you perfect boho waves but it gives you the next best thing because obviously using one of the crimper kind of things and the curlers is probably the best way to get the perfect curls but I find that this makes a really good substitute so that it makes sure that your hair doesn't get damaged and that Obviously I'm trying to grow it so it's down to there at the moment so it's a good way to get different styles without having to put heat on your hair. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know if you have any requests and please stay tuned for my back to school series which is starting very soon. Bye guys. Thank you for watching everyone.